Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers. We won the die roll up against Unbolted Baton 84. Oh, man, I need to get my head around what we're playing here. I don't think I like this hand. I'm gonna mulligan. This is an unkeepable hand. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. We're gonna get rid of, uh, we're gonna get rid of Mutavolt and Sentinel. I want everything else. Gale Rider, Predatory, Siphon, we're going in. I'm waiting to see if uh, Unbolted Mulligan, he mulliganed to 5-2, okay. Well. We're on some even playing fields right now, so that's good for us. Just need to draw one land for the Siphon. Once we get him online, that should be pretty sweet. You gonna pay the two? He is paying the two. What's your turn one play? Ah, we're going up against Lovestruck Beast. Well, this uh, lifelink should actually come in handy if we're going to need to take some beatings from him. Breeding Pool. Breeding Pool. All right, we're going to be taking some, some damage on these, unfortunately. But we'll play this. We'll get in the air for a little bit of dammy. And by that, I mean damage. Sorry, I'm not trying to swear. And then we'll pass the turn. Must he cost three? All right, he ain't coming down yet. If we can get Siphon Filter going and reclaim all the damage we're taking off of these shock lands, then that'd be pretty nice. So he's going to sack that. Another breeding pool. All right. Well, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna start getting some life link going. Recoup that life lost. Hit him for four. Gotta love it. What are you cracking for over there, though? Playing a third color, or are you just playing two? Oh, he is playing a third. We got a three color boy over here. Poor girl. You gonna shock though so you can play your Lovestruck Beast? He is. This is dangerous. Ah, uh, when he attacks, put a counter on another tap target creature you control. If a non token creature an opponent owns would die, or a creature card not on the battlefield would be put into uh, exile that card instead. Okay. So basically, you're telling me you're just dead. I mean, this, uh, this turn isn't going to go well for you here. And concede? No? All right. We'll swing. We'll hit you for a good chunk. Put you to three. We go to 27. It's a good mold of five. I like it. You know, I feel bad for him. I feel we definitely had a stronger mold of five. Although he has stuff he could be doing. I mean, he has been able to do a few things. So, let's go to sideboard. Uh, what do we need for this? I kind of like the that life link against his beefy boys. Seems pretty decent. Let's see. Uh, Fatal push isn't gonna help us a ton. Seems like they start at three mana. They are playing black, but we didn't see removal. Pithing needle. Maybe, maybe throw in a Venom Sliver or something in case we do have to like chump block. Take out a Mortal Sun. The deck seems like it's pretty good at, as is right now, honestly. How many Siphons do we have? We already have two Siphons. I don't know if I want to add a third. Let's just run it back. I mean, we didn't get to really see a ton of their deck. Just saw that they had a few beefy boys, a few 4-4s, four things like that. Odd range of like fatal, uh, fatal push. So, let's see if we cannot multi five this turn. That's a lot of land. That's a lot of land. Let 
Well, we can go metallic into leeching into icon. Hopefully draw some better stuff by then. I'll keep it. Our mana's right. Let's see what our draw is here. Oh no, don't pass. He just passed through his turn. Oh, and bolted. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Man, what are these... Ah, oh, man, everybody's shorting us today. Our draw would have been a predatory Muta Vault. Oh, we would have had Muta Vaults for days. That sucks. I don't think you should concede on that. It happens. And, you know, sometimes you could always just pass the turn back to them. That way you both miss it. But you got to communicate that a little bit. You know, hit me up. Be like, I missed it. Pass me your turn or something. But, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, though. I know it was a short one. But, uh, what can you do, man? Uh, he got embarrassed. He wanted to leave. Um, oh, well. Okay, we're going to re-roll with Unbolted here. He's actually still opening up so i wanted to give him a second chance here i wanted to play him again so i, I saw he opened up a new um lobby and we're gonna jump in and see if we can uh have a better game where we both don't mold a five on the first game and then not pass our turn on the second a bit unfortunate but you know let's see here i didn't even like look at my hand yet uh we'll keep it we'll keep he kept two plays looks like he's gonna roll out no shock on him this time we're gonna start getting our shocks down oh striking sliver you know what I'm actually I'm gonna just put down this first I want to get down my metallics and then start dropping these guys. So we'll play out um, our shock land slowly as we need to. Not shocking again. All right, he's got his human. A muty vaults. Let's get down a. Do I need anything else here? We'll get down a Muta Vault now, just so we can uh, get it out there for future turns. Put down a Metallic. We'll say Sliver. Pass. We'll go Sliver Hive next turn. And that way we can drop Metallic into a Striking. He looks like he's just going to play out Lovestruck Beast here. My assumption. Yep. All right. Love Stroke Beast is a good card, man. I've been a fan of it ever since they showed it. I'm like, that's good. That's a decent card, you know? I know you just have to, like, remove, remove the human and he can't attack, but it's still a cool card. All right. So, yeah, let's do this again. Sliver, please. And then we're going to have a nice, big, beefy striking. And we'll pass. He can't really attack in now with our first strike, which is nice. He doesn't have his black mana either. Yet. Yet. Tireless Tracker. Okay. No follow-up land, though, for him. This doesn't seem to be wise. Not sure why they did this, but maybe they want to get... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm really not sure why they did this. That uh, was... You know, we might be playing with uh, a noob here. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but looks like that might be what's happening. I am going to play a planes. We'll play down our leeching. 
We'll activate Mutavolt. And then we'll go in. Can't do much about it. He's just going to chump block. Take a lot. I'm glad we got to replay him. I, I felt bad on that first game, so... That's why I wanted to try to just redo a little bit. We had a good first game. We both mulled the five. We both did some stuff, and then he just... You know, he passed through that turn. I get it. I've been there, man. I haven't quit the game over it. I usually try to carry on through and just be like, mistakes happen. It's MTGO. That's just how it goes sometimes. But, um, you know, you hit that one key and then you skip through your attack or your whole entire turn. Oh, well, they got their black, so I'm wondering... Okay, fatal push on that guy. Why not fatal push my striking? The striking is what's killing you here. Another tireless is cool, but like... I can still... Uh, striking is what you need to target. We're definitely playing with somebody who's a little newer. Definitely. Uh, can't do anything yet. We're just gonna say no to this. We're gonna say go ahead on this. Next turn, we can play the Immortal Sun. I don't think I've gotten to play the Immortal Sun yet. Um, if he wants to double block, he can. I'm just swinging. I mean, this is lethal. <laughs> he can go to one, but he's got to just chump block. All right, we'll sideboard. Let's go to the next one. So now we've seen a little bit more of his deck. Again, everything kind of starts on... Uh... <sighs> Maybe we can get away with a Fatal Push here or there. Uh, let's try it. Let's try bringing in a couple Fatals. What else did we do last time? A Venom Sliver? Death Touch? One, take out a Mortal. Take out... Take out an Icon. I like Sentinel in the deck. We could take out a... Yeah, we don't need Venom. Let's take out Venom. What else did we see? I'm not... Super worried about Shaper Sanctuary because they are splashing black. They're mainly Selesnia colors. Maybe that's the wrong play. Maybe I should bring it in anyways. Ah, uh, this is rough, man. Getting flooded out like crazy on these hands. I don't think I can keep this. This doesn't seem great. This seems a little too slow. Um... This ain't much better. But there's at least a little bit it's a little better. It's a little better. Uh, we'll dump one of our icons. Say go. Of course, they get their black mana right away. I'm gonna go Land of War Elves, getting their ramp going. Alright, go ahead. Uh, we'll get a diffusion down as quickly as we can. That'll help, but the ramp helps them take something out if they really need to. I uh, I want to put metallic then diffusion, but let's just see if we can figure out what their play is going to be here. Tireless tracker first. Three cards in hand. Another metallic. All right, let's go metallic first. If they kill it, so be it. If not, we'll drop to fusion. And then our board's protected pretty decently. And they're not gonna be happy when they see the striking again, but they better take it out this time when they should. So last time they did not take it out and that was the end of them.
sea dry, no? Well, okay. We're gonna be taking some hits. Do I just chump block this, I wonder? I feel like I should. I feel like I should just get this out of here. Because he can't sack the clue right now. I'm just gonna chump it. I don't want this to grow any bigger. I need a land. Yes, that's the land I'm looking for. All right. Still in a bit of a pickle with this. Because I want to start getting our team up. I don't want them to just insta-kill my striking if I put it out, though. But I guess this is our best bet. Just go metallic into striking. And then next turn do a diffusion. Sure. See how that goes. We can't block the Rhino yet, though. If they it'd be it's gonna be unfortunate if they do fatal push or striking. Okay, they tap their black mana for a Land of War Elf, so I think we're safe. We will take this hit. For now. Spawn of Mayhem? Ugh. Okay, that's a problem. Definitely can't block that yet. Well, he's got one card in hand. I could put down an Ancestry. Could put down an Ancestry and just buff my team. That way we can at least block the Rhino. But we're gonna have to figure out a way. Can I survive a turn? They haven't showed removal yet. Yeah, let's be mana efficient. We're going to put down an icon. We're going to take four, though, which isn't fun. Uh, again, it's like at this point, even if we put down a fusion, they've got enough mana where they're low, they're low enough on cards where if they pull a fatal push, they can take their turn tapping out to kill the important striking sliver. So one way or another, if they do pull into it, it could die. So, but they're going to get love struck beast. We're on the defense for sure. But let's see if they attack in again to my uh, first strikers. Definitely just attack with spawn of mayhem is your best bet here. I need to get a gale rider out. And I need to land for a collected company. That would be nice. Okay, they're playing smart on that. I'm gonna go to eight. That's not what I'm looking for here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put out our Lord. A bluff a fatal push, I guess. Pulling up the your bark. Our guys are big, but um again it's like man, this spawn of mayhem is gonna be tricky. Again, we need a land for a collected company and we need to get a Gale Rider, like ASAP. Draw a card. Makes sense. Taking it. So you got a four mana play or a three mana play. Another tireless tracker, maybe? Ooh, another love struck. That's gnarly. Ooh, we are in rough shape. Ah, 
That's a good board for them. Yep, just gonna attack in with him. Can't do much about it. We need... We have one turn. Land. Oh, that hurts. I think we lose if they just swing out. We just lose anyways. I'm just going to save them the trouble here. Let's just uh, do it on our phase. I know it's not necessary, but like, let's just see if we can win and we'll move on. Mana Swift, Leeching. Hive Lord. Oh, we had Hive Lord. Well, it, di it didn't matter anyways. We're dead to the uh, spawn of Mayhem. I The Hive Lord looked like a land to me for some reason, which is funny. Um, but let's see. Is there anything else I could do? No, can't go for another collected company. So, yep, let's go to game three. That's fine. Um, let's get another siphon going. We'll take out one mana swift. No, take out a metallic. Could put in another striking even. Why don't we put in another striking? What do we cut for that? I kind of want Hive Lord, but he might be tricky. He might It might just not be the game for it, because they can get stuff down pretty fast. Although we got to him last game. Could cut another Icon. That could be the play. Let's cut another Icon. Yes. Give me a good hand here. Okay, yeah, this is this is good. Uh, we'll keep, and we'll go ahead and start getting these breeding pools out. We'll definitely drop a diffusion first this time, and then set up for a good mana swift turn. No, pass. Pretty equal start so far. Did he mold a six? He mulled to five. Ooh, okay, he mulled to five. So you're saying there's a chance. We are gonna go unclaimed here. Call Sliver. Just so we don't have to shock ourselves un unnecessarily. Go to him. Fatal pushes are offline for a few turns. Okay, sure. Scrappy Scrounger cannot block. And you can exile another creature card to return him. Not the scariest thing. Sliver Hive is pretty good here, too. So, I think we go Mana Swift into Predatory, or do we want to just do siphon now let's do let's do this we're not attacking in this turn anyway so this should be fine let's just grow our board a little bit 
I mean, we could have attacked in this turn because he can't block, but it doesn't seem really worth it right now with just one power. I'd rather set up a little bit more next turn. We can go siphon uh, into anything else that we might draw into that'll be useful. Well, they can kill a creature now if they need to. I, they may be debating it. <laughs> Looks like we're safe for another turn, so we'll, we should get a good attack. No blocks right now, thank you. And if they just pass here, we're in good shape. Collected Company is pretty nice. So let's attack. See if they can do anything. And then we will collect a company. Oh no, buddy. No, that's not gonna work, man. Well, I'm still gonna do this now, but it's... I don't think this is gonna go how he thinks it's gonna go. It's not reading my cards, just a leeching. Are we gonna get the trigger for that yet? Silver, I have nothing else. Yeah, well, that, that was a pretty tragic collected company, especially because we're not even getting triggers off of the leeching this time. So it can't be countered, so it will work. Okay. Uh, that was my next question. I was like, I know this is a can't be countered one, so that will that negate it, and it will. So that's good to know. We missed uh, three points of damage, though. All right, Abrupt Decay used, Fatal Push online. Next turn, we can drop a Siphon still. We did lose a Muta Vault to the bottom of our library from that tragic collected company. I was hoping that would be a little bit better. Knight of Autumn. Gain four. Or counters. Put in two counters. Okay. Give me something good. Huh. Let's just do this now and see what we can pull into. I want to be attacking. All right, we got Diffusion. A mana swift, so we're definitely grabbing diffusion. We'll get down a siphon. Any order. We will play out the breeding pool tapped. And we'll just put out. I'm not gonna attack into the night of autumn yet. Or should we here? Hold up. Cancel. They eat our... No, they're just going to eat our guy. It's not really worth it. We'll wait for a really good swing out. Strong board. And uh, the fusion was clutch, actually. Mm, they can definitely set up some decent blockers, though. All right, Land of War is not scary. What are your other two cards, though? Voice of Resurgence. Create a green, white elemental equal to the number of creatures you control. Oh yeah, okay, that card. Yeah, that's scary. But it's only on his turn, right? Or if it dies. We bought, we brought in two, another striking. I would love to get a striking. Well, I'm not going to complain. So 
now the question. Do we want to swing? Or do we want to chill for a minute? I guess I can swing with my siphons. I'm fine with that. Let's get in for a little bit. We'll get in with these guys. Start gaining some life. If they want to block or double block one, you know, I'm fine with trading one of these for a Knight of Autumn just to get it out of our face. If they chump block with Voice of Resurgence, it's not that scary of a, a card right now. Okay. They're just getting in. Cool, they go to eight, we go to 20. Life total healthy, healthy. Another scrap heap, scrap heap. They are empty handed. Gonna get in with one of these guys, huh? That's fine. I can just kill them now, right? Yeah, I can just kill them now. I don't, they can't block, they can only block three, so we just win. Oh, that's gnarly. Now it's super over. It was a good game, man. It was a good game. I'm glad I got to play uh, play your deck to its fullest potential. Good battles. Fun times. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for Friday's Naya video. Naya's popper, popper Naya, Naya Slivers video. They're just going to take this, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> but stay tuned for Friday's Sliver video. Thanks for checking out the videos. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one.